Hi guys, in this video let us see how to install Ubuntu 25.04 version, the latest version in VirtualBox. So first of all, right click on the tax bar, then click on tax manager, go to performance tab and please make sure you are under CPU and then the virtualization is enabled. If this is not enabled, you need to enable it inside BIOS. Now, as you can see, I am using a 4 core CPU and the memory that is the RAM is 12 GB. This is important. So now go to the website of virtualbox.org, click on this download button and now click on Windows hosts. Once this is downloaded, now go to Ubuntu latest build and click on this first link. This is 24.04.2 LTS version and this is Ubuntu 25.04 version. I will download this one. So once this is downloaded, this file is almost 6 GB in size. So please wait and inside download section, you can see the ISO and this is the VirtualBox exe file. Double click on it to get it installed, accept, then click on next, yes and install. Once this application is installed, click on finish and now click on this new button and create the name you can give Ubuntu, then click on ISO image, select from the drop down, click on others and select the ISO image. Now please make sure the type is Linux and version is Linux uh, Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on skip unattended installation. Now you can skip this part easily. Now go to hardware. Now you have to allocate the RAM. As you have already seen, I have 12 GB of RAM, so I can allocate uh, 6 GB. This is ideal. Now, now as my CPU have 4 cores, so I should allocate 2 cores ideally. But 2 cores is very less, so I have to allocate at least 4 cores. But never cross the red line. Now go to hard disks. Here, uh, ideal space should be 60 to 100 GB. But I have very less space remaining, so I will allocate 40 GB. Now click on this tick box and click on finish but please make sure you don't select this pre-allocate full size otherwise 40 GB will be allocated without any uh, need. Now there is some problem yes in the name I have to change the name here this is because the name was same as the username okay now click on finish this is done now you can go to settings and here you can change all these details that you have already put and please make sure you have select bi-directional in both the fields okay now you can change the RAM and also the processor cores from here you can change the display settings also and display memory also now click on this empty button click on plus and then optical drive and then select the ISO file and then click on configure okay uh, this is done you can add another adapter also from the network section but i will not show this because uh, this will make this video uh, more complicated so now close this part okay now click on the start button to get the installation wizard here use the up and down key on the keyboard to select try or install ubuntu and then hit enter now Ubuntu is going to get installed on your system inside virtual machine but you can see my mouse pointer is not showing inside this uh, Ubuntu screen for that I need to press right control this is my host key so right control button and then press the mouse button and then you can see now my mouse button is working perfectly fine now you can go to view section and then click on this full screen mode or you can press host plus F button host means the right control button okay you can change it also but I will select this button and then click on this checkbox then switch now you can see we are inside a full screen but this is not covering the entire monitor this is because uh, I have not set the display settings. so right click display settings and then I have to set the resolution as per my monitor this is 1920 by 1080 pixel so i have to set this then apply then keep changes and now you can see this is full screen so now select the language click on next click on next again and from here select the uh, do not connect to the internet okay now click on install and then interactive installation then 
you can uh, select this wi-fi hardware also if you want to install it i will not show that this will take too much time and now select this erase button this will create a fresh installation don't worry any data from your uh, ssd is not going to be deleted so now click on ok enter a username or computer name yes and then enter a password please confirm the password and remember it now click on next select your location click on install okay now it may take 15 to 20 minutes depending on the configuration of your computer so please be patient now click on the show app icon and now type terminal type sudo space apt space update hit enter now there will be some uh, dependency upgradation so please be patient it will take 5 to 10 minutes again so once this is done now click on clear and now you can press the host key that is the right control key and f button to uh, get out of this uh, uh, linux so this was the complete video thank you for watching see you in the next video till then stay safe